Okay, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we watch movies together, and I let you know when it's going, and I let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them, and we do it with our filmmaking thinking caps on. And that's not on that. Don't forget to stick around to the end of one of my videos where we will do the IMDB movie trivia together because I ask a bunch of rhetorical questions um, during my videos, and I like answers. Sue me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, today's video was a poll on the Patreon. I put two Scorsese films together and The Wolf of Wall Street came out on top. Leo. I'm not mad about it. I feel like it was the summer of Barbie. So let's let's check out the movie that I think put Margot Robbie on the map. I love a Scorsese film. It is usually pretty fast paced. There's usually a lot of voiceover, a lot of movement in the camera and I do think I'm going to be very entertained both screenplay wise and visually for the next ugh, three hours you guys are always trying to kill me with that I just think that um it's been too long it's been too long and Wolf of Wall Street has to happen you know what I'm saying I'm expecting shocking I'm expecting lots of drugs shocking I'm probably the most excited for Jonah Hill I'm a kind of a big fan of his and I'm excited to see what he gets into and I do know it's based on a true story so I'm fairly certain I'm going to be horrified. I know people who um Jordan Belfort is <laughs> their hero which is insane. This is the point in one of my videos where I'm going to thank the members who sit on my $15 tier on Patreon. If you would like to join them please hit more on the description box below. Head to my Patreon where you can catch my full length reaction to this as well as hundreds of others and this month I would love to say thank you so much too. Simon, Ube Relder, C. Palmer, Simplexity, also known as Alex, Muggy, DJ Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Courtney, Reef, Ethan, Tom, Hemi Changa, David, Burwinkle, Brian, Sean, Grismore, Daniel, Jason, and Motodork. Thank you all so much for supporting me a little bit extra. Without further ado, I mean, we're on a time crunch, folks. So let's get right into today's video, which is going to be The Wolf of Wall Street from 2013. <laughs> Bulls, bears, Stratton Oakmont, stability. It's like a commercial. Integrity. Integrity, I'm dead. No shot. <laughs> Integrity, pride, cut to. My name is Jordan Belfort. Not him. Me. That's right. This is so f***ed up already. The year I turned 26 as the head of my own brokerage firm. That's Rob Reiner. He's in Miami Vice, not cool. red. Cool. I like this. What's going on? What's, what's she doing? That's my house. Is that a butt? Fuck that. That's a butt. Three different federal agencies looking to indict me? Oh, yeah. And I love drugs. Jesus. Martin Scorsese. It's two minutes in, friends. Get in there safe, all right? Next time, brother. Is this the frames are slowed down? Slow-mo? That was drippy trippy. I thought my copy was glitching out. I take quaaludes 10 to 15 times a day for my back pain, Adderall to stay focused. He's gonna die. Can't survive this. There is one that is my absolute favorite. That's the best. See. Kakan. <laughs> I'm talking about this. Oh, money. You are lower than pond scum. Got a problem with that? Jordan? <laughs> Jordan? I can only imagine what a d bag that guy must be. Jordan Belfort. Yeah, yeah. McConaughey. Bad hair. Lunch today. Yeah. Two, one, let's. Let's. <laughs> shut that mother. Shut it, shut it, shut it. So. Hmm, still physical. I liked how Scorsese, which I didn't expect anything less, picked handheld camera and those long takes to string together that sequence because it was frenetic and there's a lot of choreography. So much choreography. He thinks he's getting rich, which he is, on paper. Right. We're taking home cold hard cash via commission, mother 
You make commission? What, from the company? Oh, I am so out of my depth, you guys. This is embarrassing. I used to keep the blood flowing. Mm -hmm. I keep the rhythm below the belt. This is not a tip. This is a prescription, trust me. Mm -hmm. If you don't... It's not a tip, it's a prescription. With a common denominator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This feels very masculine. You know, guys? I'm obsessed with this idea of, like, money... They're horny for money. It's money and sex go hand in hand. 36 and a half, Mr. Butts. Can somebody in the comments below let me know if you worked in this in 87, was it this busy? It seems loud and full of commotion. Within a month, L.F. Rothschild closed its doors. What does that say? Stockbrokers. <laughs> Long Island, stockbrokers yeah. in Long Island. Yeah, Long Island, that's where I'm from. Right. Yeah. Of course you never heard of them. They're up and comers. That's what that means. Three cents a share. That's three dollars. Oh God, it's small money, isn't it? Is this stuff regulated, or are you guys? What are you doing here? Uh, sort of. It's a great, great response. Uh. I did make one percent. Pink sheets. It's fifty. <gasps> Damn. If you sell $10,000 worth of this stock, I will personally give you a blowjob for free. I like this guy. On a mere $6,000 investment would be upwards of $60,000. Jesus, that's my mortgage, man. Exactly, you could pay off your mortgage. I stop. love this choice. They all stop to listen. And welcome to the Investor Center. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Bye-bye. Look at the way he painted this frame, Scorsese. Put everybody in. It's like a painting. The problem you're gonna have is that you didn't buy more. You guys know that I think I could do this too, right? <laughs> it's my, my fatal flaw. I think I can do everything. You know, actually, I, I see that car around. I see it around a lot. You make a lot of money. Damn, Jonah Hill. It's like a little shark. Yeah, no, I'm serious too. Seriously, how much money you make? 70,000. Well, technically, 72,000. Oh, that'd be so lovely, you guys. I'd go back to acting, get some headshots. I quit my job right now and I work for you. I don't want you to work for me. I don't like your outfit. Yeah, my wife, yeah, my wife is my cousin or whatever, but it's not like, it's not like, well, you know, look, we grew up together. And That's your cousin. I mean, I don't mean, to, I don't want to get personal or anything, but they're like, okay. The rumors were dead spot on. I cannot. <laughs> what, what if you, I mean, what if something like that happened? Like, I would, you know, drive it up to the country and just like, you know, open the door and let us say, you're free now. You know, like, run free. With him to show that he's a good liar. <laughs> f knew it. I f knew it. Jonah Hill, man. We would take it to like an institution or somewhere that's handled to like you know raise the kid or whatever. Oh, so the cousin thing was true. Hello, my name is Jordan Belfort. Uh, my partner and I are very interested in renting out your garage. Anthony works at a grocery store. So I recruited some of my hometown boys: Sea Otter, Chester, and Robbie, who sold anything he could get his hands on. Key skill. Quaalude King of Bayside. Hey, Zip! That's what it's all about. Hey, Ma, we got chicken or what? <laughs> Mom. I'm not putting words in your mouth or nothing, but you just said that everybody wants to get rich. Holy f you did just say yeah, that. You just say that. <laughs> Buddhists, they don't give a shit about money. They're wrapped in sh I'm here to call you out. Some people just want to make furniture. Pen right here. You can sell anything, sell that. Oh my gosh, it's an improv exercise. We would do this in improv class. Do me a favor. Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. Smartest of the bunch was Nikki Koskoff. He actually went to law school. Look at Nikki. I called him Rugrat because of his piece of hair piece. I know. Look at his hair. But well, wouldn't you feel better if you sold that stuff to rich people who can like afford to lose all that money? Rich people don't buy penny stocks. What if I could teach them how to sell to people with money? Real money. That's what I'm saying. Go after the rich people now. To Stratton Oakmont. You schnooks will now be targeting the- Schnooks. Good fellas. The only real objection that they have is that they don't trust you guys. And why should they trust you? I mean, look at you. You're a bunch of sleazy salesmen, right? <laughs> so- <laughs> Yeah, we are. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. 
You give me one shot. Excellent choice. Kevin, let me lock in that trade right now and get back to you in a few minutes with an exact confirmation. Kevin. Do they ever make these people money? Yeah. I'm still confused about penny stocks, how the commission's 50%. Like, what is paying for that? They're inflating the price of the stock, even? Getting in on sunlight before there was sunlight, you understand? <laughs> sunlight before there was fucking sunlight. <laughs> this script. This is fun. I'm having so much fun. Double D! Is this some great? <laughs> I'm, I'm into doing things for morale boosting for sure you know a dunk tank carnival i believe in the office they had pretzel day <laughs> Whoa, wow wow animals wildlife but what they're doing is like it's not illegal it's just shady right a total hatchet job this conniving little twat look at this the wolf of wall street they call me look jordan mm. Bell, sounding hey you're in a huge magazine deal I, look. I get it now he's taking from the rich so it's a little bit better but the stocks are still not good kids backs and here comes this jerk off sniffing around is, is he's always the fbi agent isn't he in every movie that guy I had to declare the office a free zone between the hours of nine and seven. <laughs> After seven, all bets are off. When one of our brokers, Ben Jenner, christened the elevator by getting a job from a sales assistant. Her name was Pam. Eventually, Ben married her, which was pretty amazing considering she blew every single guy in the office. <gasps> I hired my dad, Max, to maintain order as the enforcer. Anyway. I wait all week for the f***ing equalizer, and I have to <laughs> Guys, this is how my mom used to answer the phone. Yeah, no, oh, that's they, a fact. I saw on real. PBS. They get confused, and their wires get crossed. You got to look like the chin. Like, it looks like I'm looking at you, yeah, but yeah. I'm looking at your chin. So serious. I, I saw it on PBS. You're not, are you? They're like the Mona Lisa. They, they find eye contact, like, wherever you're standing in the room. Do we think any of this is improv? It felt like Jonah Hill improv that they're like the Mona Lisa. In one month, Jordy? Huh? And EJ Entertainment. What the f is EJ Entertainment? <laughs> well, that's well I there's all your f***ing <laughs> charges right here. You guys, no, the no, IRS, no. they allow for... It is so fun to just watch them explain this bill. It is very fun. TNA. He, he did. Said, he said yeah, TNA. Absolutely no question. Yeah, I heard I'm, it. I'm trying to... I'm getting I'm close. Sweating. Dad, I'm getting... I don't know what TNA is. At Stratton, there were three kinds of hookers. The blue chips, top of the line, model material. Pretty not great. They cost between two and three hundred. The pink sheets, skanks, they cost about a hundred or less. And if you didn't- This is so insane. Do you want to do this in front of all your friends? It's crazy out there. Some of these girls, you should see them. Oh my God. Pops, I mean, I mean, the it's bite. on a whole other level. No bald, bush? Bald as a giant No dog. bush? No bush. Oh I know. I, all of a sudden, I... <laughs> bald. They're bald from the eyebrows down. Wow. Nothing. Not a stitch. It's like late. I'm not. Okay. Dad's like, no bush. No bush. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Crazy. This is obscene. Isn't he ruining his reputation in the industry? Like, if you lose people enough money, enough times... You're gonna lose business, right? We like to get as f***ed up as possible during our business powwows. Which is why we were popping these lewds like they were M&Ms. <laughs> Quaaludes, baby. What does Quaaludes do? Does it just make you sleepy? Don't know what a lewd is? I'll tell you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Look at me, getting my answers. Was first synthesized in 1951 by an Indian doctor as a sedative. Sedative. Steam. Hey, Jamie, 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 you better come check this. Look at this. What's happening? <gasps> Margo! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've got an awesome place here. <gasps> Long Islands. You hear her? I'll be on a couple minutes. Just tell her I'll be on a couple minutes. Why don't you tell your wife that? I might do that, but I'm having a conversation. It's a good friend. Why don't you tell your wife that? You know? Donnie, what the f*** are you doing, you f***ing... Was he actually? <gasps> oh my god, he actually was. I thought he was just faking it, like super bad style. 
<gasps> I would feel pretty violated if I was Naomi and I would get the f out of there. What? Married people can't have friends? <laughs> We're gonna be friends? Yeah. Cut to them raw dogging it in the bed in five seconds. You knocked me dead. Then all my feet. Not yet, Chanel. Not yet, girl. Wait a little bit. Come on, Jordan. Think of a way to get up to her apartment. Can I come in? You want to come up for some tea or something? Like hot tea? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah. Tea. F like Darjeeling, rose hips, some, some nice like. Darjeeling. So. This movie has quite a timeless feel. I, I think Jonah Hill is the only one who screams like 80s to me. It feels really timeless. It's just not too crazy, you know? I guess because the previews of this, I never once thought it took place in the 80s. <gasps> Teresa. That's it, you're leaving. Don't get involved. Go home to your wife. She's going to come out like naked. Yep. <laughs> Bro, don't you want to make a better impression than that? Come on. Did you? Did you come? No. No? Off, Rocky! Yeah, we, we have a biscuit or something like it's that. It's okay. Rocky! <laughs> Naomi and I got along. I mean, we we had similar interests. I love in this framing. That's gorgeous. Are you, who the f are you, Jordan? I made a mistake. I don't know what to tell you, babe. I, I, I'm sorry. Is that, what, is that what you want? Yeah, just be honest, Jordan. Just be honest. It's gone. Don't drag this out. I felt horrible. You f should. Three days run. later, I filed for a divorce and moved Naomi into the apartment. She even hired a gay butler. Just this guy was smart, there. sophisticated. Oh, hey. Is it Wednesday already? Do you have a gay orgy? One thing led to another. Things got out of hand. We understand that we do. We, we do blow all the time. We're f degenerates okay. ourselves. Look at us, right? <laughs> Judy, Ooh, I don't know the the oh, sh. Oh my god. I'd drive the price up, then he'd sell and kick most of the profits back to, you guessed it, me. Yeah. Okay, this is where it's starting to get shady. I mean, it was already shady, but this is bad. Was all this legal? That's what I want to know. Not. What do you do when you're making more money than you know what to do with? Hide it. Oh my god. Put it into assets? <gasps> oh my god. Pharmacy with wings. <laughs> What's the pilot doing? Participating? <laughs> me two million bucks, including the cost of refurbishing the entire 28th floor. Naomi's like, hey, I love you. I love sharing your day with others. <laughs> Jesus. Remember what I told you. And you know, you know what you can do, Jordy. This is what my parents' wedding video looks like. And everyone gets on the mic and goes, Many boys. I am wishing you sons. And my mom has three daughters. And Emma. Oh, hey, how you doing? Into the donuts, I see. Oh, I donuts, mm-hmm. What is this? It's your wedding present. It's your wedding present, sweetheart. That's very small. It's a small boat. Anchors away! <laughs> oh my god! Baby! This is so dumb. <laughs> the amount of money is so dumb. With maids, cooks, landscapers, you name it. We even had two guards who worked in shifts. Both named Rocco. Got a lot of Roccos in my family. What? I don't even know who Venice is! What the f does that even mean? Venice! Oh, I really hope she gives it to him now in the second half of the movie. I want to see Naomi start to get really pissed at him because he deserves it. Venice. I'm ready to go, huh? Ah! Well, we figured out who Venice is. That's right. Thing in a condominium complex in Venice. That's why That's why all this confusion. Oh, you were investing in Italy. You got so Who is the one who problem? flew in here at three in the morning on this and woke up Skyla? I'm dead at the accent. My whole family sounds like this. Because last month you were a wine connoisseur. Now you're an aspiring landscape architect. Let me Shut get him that up. Go. Do it again. Do All it. Right, honey. Do it, do it, do it. Give me one. First, I'd get up and fight with Naomi about whatever it is. I oh, this is so 
Scorsese, man, they're these really flawed, terrible people. And um, it always freaks me out that they're parents. It's gonna be nothing but short, short skirts around the house. Yes, torture him. Oh my god, are we about a basic instinct? To throw them all away. Below frame. Respect. Respect Martin Scorsese. Oh gosh. Wow. That's awesome. That choreography. Foot to the head and he slides down and the shot is kind of profile on them. So good. Have you ever noticed anything odd about What the f it's true. Say hi, mommy. Say hi to Rocco and Rocco. I mean today was the biggest day. Oh, just their security. Just their security. Rocco and Rocco. Oh my god. Biggest IPO in this firm's history. What the f is he doing? Is he wearing Cleaning a, a fishbowl. Hey. <laughs> what does it look like he's doing? Suck it, mother new issue day! This is what happens when you f your pets on new issue day! No! What the hell? No! <laughs> that better have been a CGI goldfish because that was so f As if it's real, Chanel. It's a fat girl shoe! Believe it or not, believe it or not though. Why are they throwing things? Artists like Steve come along once every decade. I'm talking Giorgio Armani, Gianni Versace, Coco Chanel. Steve Madden. This is our golden ticket to the f***ing chocolate factory right here. Yeah! And I'm <laughs> Not the chocolate factory Willy Wonka reference. Guys, I'll say it again. I've said it a million times. Acting is so embarrassing. Look at how f***ing silly you have to be. It's so embarrassing. Who will not hang up the phone until their client... Either buys or f***ing dies! Buys or dies. He has a real way with words, this man. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Does your girlfriend think you're a f***ing worthless loser? Pick up the phone and start dialing. This is a speech for the ages. At one p Can't wait to see how this starts to unravel. I'm ready. I'm ready for the law to step in. You want to marry me? You're in love with me? Yeah, I go f cousin. Barry, what's up? Listen, uh, got this. Oh, no. I know you're investigating Stratton, but for the life of me, I, I, I can't figure out why. Sells, but I want you. I want to know what he knows. Let's go. Well, you know, the SEC is a civil regulatory agency. We pursue criminal activity. Exactly. You makes me wonder what. Well, I don't see any criminals here. <laughs> you ever think about what would have happened if you would have, you know, stayed the course? Hit him where it hurts. Riding home on the subway in my ball fucking sweating. I'm wearing the same suit three days in a row. Yeah, you you bet I do. 60K, something like that. Year. Oh. Ballpark. Better be more than that. It's good to give back, you know, there's there's situation. Such a good talker. I do that for anybody, you know. Anybody that needs the proper guidance. Hmm. I didn't think the FBI guy would be so, like, weak. I thought he'd be way more, like, standing up to Leo, to Jordan. But he's kind of like, let me in. Can you say that again? Just the way you <gasps> No. You just tried to bribe a federal <gasps> officer. No, technically I didn't bribe anybody. Oh, no, that I was going to say, I knew this officer was smarter than this. It's beautiful. <laughs> if you get the beautiful girls there, it's wonderful. <laughs> All right, get the f*** oh. off my I love that. Those actors playing that opposite. The opposites on that performance of ha 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 you f***ing asshole. So funny. Beautiful. Switzerland. Swiss f***ing banks, that's what. I had to hide my money. I wanna go home. At 4 p.m. I popped a few more ludes, which started kicking in by the time I finished my sales meeting. I've been loving the soundtrack. And this is the Quaalude cam. The blur... Like we're dancing in jello. Camera. What are you upset about? Please go back to your seat. I will have to call the captain. Please, sir. Oh, this makes me so crazy. I'm getting so annoyed. I would love to skip forward 10 seconds if I could. Fine. Thank you. Quiet. I can't even tie you. The captain tied you up. He f***ing tasered you. Whoa. Because you were so annoying. 
what he You called the captain the N word. <gasps> Jesus Christ, I think you have a drug problem. You think? That's good. Go to sleep. A bit harder, buddy. You're all right. Do something to calm me down, buddy. Swiss custom requires 10 minutes of uh, blah, blah, blah. Chit chat. Yeah, chit chat, thank you, before business can be discussed. Okay. Yeah. Champagne, champagne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. French fries. <laughs> bon <vrai. laughs> And that kind of that kind of stuff. That's fun. Cool story, bro. If the US Justice Department sent us a subpoena, it would become um, we would wipe our ass with it. <laughs> Toilet paper. Assuming the account is under your name. If it were another name a friend's <sighs> This is how he gets it, gets away with it. What I needed was a rat hole with a European passport. Is it Aunt Emma? I was wondering why we were harping on her. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, oh Emma. Hey, girl. You're a man with large appetites. Yeah. Is she hitting on me? Stop. Stop it. To release the tension. She is hitting on me. I gotta release the tension. Is he f***ing hitting on me? No. 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 No, 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 no. I'll take care of everything over here. <sighs> Switzerland. How is that gonna work? And when it gets in, I'll give you a call. You come pick it up. You give me a call. Well, we don't f***ing work for you, man. Shh, shh, shh. No, for real. Yep. Pill deal. I got five more just like you. This is the point in a Scorsese film where everything needs to start coming undone. Over the course of six round trips, Chantal's family and friends smuggled in over 20 million in cash. I guess this was before uh, x ray. They had to x ray your bag. I'm up, right? It's a joke. Are you kidding me? I checked my messages every day when Did I come you? home from work. My answer yeah, machine messages every 45 minutes call in the office and say, has Brad apologized? I feel like Joan Hill improvised so much of his dialogue. We have to look into this. You're just not the one for me, pal. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? It's okay. not, it's not. You're not my cousin. I need to shove it right up your wife's Latvian. You understand? Oh, wife. He went wife. <laughs> He's a bad guy. What did you think was going to happen, dummy? I'm so angry now. Now I want them... I don't want them to get away with it, though. I want them to get caught. 20 real lemons. He said he was saving these for a special occasion, like a birthday or being clapped free. Or our money arriving safely in Switzerland. In 35 minutes. Maybe we built up a tolerance after all these years, huh? Give it a, give it a little longer, boys. And they call me from a payphone. This is not a f joke, Jordan. Uh, I gotta go. Is everything okay, Jordan? The buddy who got arrested is about to rat them out. I feel like there's no other way. He, he was with Donnie. He was supposed to deliver some money to that thing right now. Listen to me. Don't go. Listen. Bribing FBI agent. You think I'm not stupid? No. What the f are you saying? I can't understand. Say that again. I was there. You were there. Might have. What are you saying? Oh my God. The Quaaludes. I sent I an answer to more FBI. Oh my God. I, it, just when we forget like that they did that, they hit. These little bastards were so strong, I discovered a whole new face. The cerebral palsy face. Oh my god. This is getting painful, you guys. Bring back the hookers. <laughs> Bring back public intoxication. I don't like the real consequences of his actions. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Ow. Oh, my body hurts. <sighs> Did you guys feel that? I felt that from the top of my head into my toes. I love this because right when we need our main character to be in motion and making moves and getting out and going, he physically cannot. And it is about writing an obstacle in his way. And that's on stakes, people. Medium rare. By some miracle, I made it home alive. Mm. Not a scratch on me or the car. This reminds me of the last act of Goodfellas. I all say it like I know I keep making the comparison. I just love the last act of that film so much. Oh, gotcha. Oh. 
That's involved. Is he gonna die? Daddy, don't you stop breathing? You know I can't help it. Oh my god, Jordan. Popeye. That'll counteract the many quaaludes you took. Get off me here. Call 911. This movie is insane. This is insane. This is cr what else is going to happen? Well, uh what? Wow. Maybe I hadn't made it home okay. What? Oh my god, I knew- I was like, no way! Would you drive that car tonight? No. Brad did three months in jail for contempt because he wouldn't rat Donnie out. Lucky to be alive, let alone not in jail. No, I don't believe in luck, right? But it's time. Is this guy a- <sighs> Is he a director? No. I know you built it! You built it, so now preserve it! Okay. Does he walk? I don't know. He's too proud. He's way too proud. He needs like adoration. Now, most of you met Kimmy, the beautiful, sophisticated woman that she is today. A woman that wears $3,000 Armani suits and have two nickels to rub together. Mm hmm. I'm not about to get endeared to this man. Uh, Chanel. She asked for a $5,000 advance just just so she could pay his son's tuition. Mm hmm What'd I do, Kim? For $25,000. I'm gonna cry. Because it meant a lot to her, you know? She really needed it. Oh, boy, you from the bottom of my heart. He's a really good speech maker. I'm so impressed. It's them... It's them selling me, not the other way around. It's, it's me being a hypocrite is what it is. You've won enough times, buddy. This is okay. This is a fine loss. I'm not leaving. Oh, I sort of figured he'd be like, and I'm staying I'm forever. It's the kind of movie it is. They're gonna need to send in the National Guard and SWAT team, cause I ain't going nowhere. Oh, you're going to jail, buddy. It's the McConaughey chant. Buddy, get back here. Hey. He can live without millions, 30 million a day. He cannot live without adoration. Back in the ocean. Happy hunting. Okay. They got it tapped. Jordan Belfort. Alden. That's a nice name. Thank you very much for that. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. The the but name. not a single Stratonite cracked. Gladys Carrera. I know who the who I thought that actor was. John Favreau. Herman, nobody can recall anything about the Steve Madden IPO. It's shocking. <laughs> you got to shut the f up. This is your friend from high school. No. Yeah. And Emma is dead. You serious? Oh, sweetheart, that's... ...off her mortal coil and $20 million stuck in a Swiss bank account. Terrible of you. You aren't was such an elegant, attractive woman. How do they get that now? She died, signed a document naming you as her successor. She did! Oh. I just had to get there by tomorrow. Oh, my God. Lose $20 million. We're going to Monaco! Chop is fine. Like Trust me, chop. chop is fine. Is Chop fine, Captain Ted? <laughs> Doesn't seem like Chop is fine. I'm just, my mind is spinning with what happens when you have a yacht and you want to get it from Long Island to Italy. Like, what do you do? You pay someone to sail it? The stakes just keep getting higher and higher. It's funny, I want them to get what's coming to them, but they've set up such good stakes that I want them to get to Monaco so badly right now, and I want him to be able to execute his plan, and that's just magic. 
when you hate them, but you want them to succeed. Is this Italian Gloria? I love this song. I've been loving the soundtrack. You can become financially independent in just a matter of months. All you the whole movie is a sales pitch. It's all a commercial. If it doesn't work for you, it's because you're lazy and you should get a job at McDonald's. There's nobody holding you back from <laughs> You're under arrest! You gotta be, you gotta be joking! Like they infiltrate his commercial. This is great. I'm a TV personality. I'm sober for two years and this happens. Ah. Even more f was that he got busted for shit had nothing to do with me. Doing drug money through offshore boat racing and a guy named Rocky Aoki. You know, the founder of Benihana. Benihana. That's so good. Benihana. 21 counts money laundering. One count Oh my god. Justice. Fran Lebowitz? I'll tell you one thing. I'm never eating a Benihana again. <laughs> I would love Hibachi right now. The house, money, don't worry about it, I got you. Hmm, like a gift. That's legal, right? A gift is fine. I don't drink anymore. Oh, you want to go inside and blow some lines of bacon powder? <laughs> bacon soda? Mm -hmm. Can't imagine it. These guys always sort of get away with it. It's so annoying. As long as they cooperate with the law, they're like allowed to just live. What, what, what does that mean? You want, you want me to rat? Is that it? No, I want you to cooperate. No, you want me to rat, right? Yes, we want you to rat. I appreciate the honesty. Like this man. What do you mean, happy for me? You should be happy for the both of us, right? Yeah, right. She leaving him? She's got something on her mind. <laughs> oh, baby. That was so f***ing great. Oh, God. That was the last time. What do you mean, baby? That's it. We're done. Get off me, I want a divorce. Okay, get off Just me. make love to me. What the f is wrong with you? I don't love you anymore, Jordan! No. Nope. You don't love me anymore, huh? Uh, what? Is there money in there? What's he doing? Guys? Okay. Did you need to stab the couch open? You don't you get don't to don't see my kids again, huh? Don't you touch <gasps> Oh my god. Sucker punched her in the gut. I like forgot the camera was on you guys. I'm so sorry. I literally forgot you were here. I don't like when children are involved in stuff like this. Because he couldn't give up the fame. He couldn't give up the lifestyle. Ever get back to you about that, um, about that, uh, that account? You know, you remember it was like four or five mil, something like that, right? Oh, I can't believe it. Mr. Jordan, you got a visitor. What? I, he chose to remain loyal to Donnie. He wrote him the note. In the words of Jersey Shore. Who wrote the note? What's going on? Oh my god! I'm going to jail. They found it? How? Oh, what are we deleting? FBI! Mrs. Robinson. Chanel. I got three years in some hellhole in Nevada I'd never even heard of. Oh, he gave everybody up and only got three years. The sentence of the court shall be 36 months in federal prison. That is not bad. That is really not bad. He's on the subway. Wears his underwear sweating after wearing the same suit for three days. My good friend, Mr. Jordan Belfort, is the single baddest I have ever met. This is what he's doing now, I'm assuming. Sell me this pen. It's, it's a, a amazing pen it's a, for professionals. Sell me this pen. 
will. Gotta create the need. Oh, it's like, he's like, I'm here with the schnooks. <laughs> he can't believe it. This is the worst. Okay. Let's talk about it. The Wolf Wall Street from 2013. I've now seen it. Pretty classic, right? It's pretty classic Scorsese. He finds a biography, um, an autobiography, and he gets a movie made about some criminal's life. And it takes place over the span of three hours at always. And I found this to be like a worthy entry into what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, I'm by no means an expert. I think that Goodfellas is always going to be my number one of this form. But I think this might be like a number two for me. I really enjoyed this. I mean, it felt exactly like Goodfellas. And I was always so sad that I never felt like I was going to be able to capture the magic and energy of Goodfellas again. And then he's done it time and time again for me. So I found this just really energetic and just really, really captivating. And, you know, he did it with, he did it with Goodfellas for me on the channel. Casino. We didn't do Goodfellas on the channel. I've seen Goodfellas in my real life. Casino felt like this. And I caught Killers of Flower Moon, sort of same deal. We have a bunch others to do. I, I see this as like a real threefer for me. It's Goodfellas, Casino, Wolf of Wall Street in terms of like the following of the one guy and watching him go rags, riches, rags again. And I found like this to be, I, I like this a lot more than Casino. Um, I did think it was a tad long. I always think that. Um, Scorsese movies always move quickly for me though. So kind of kept me on my toes. It was truly so shocking at times. I couldn't believe it, especially some of the, like blatant public sexual stuff that was crazy um I loved the themes of this which I know we can you know attribute to the book and then the screenplay writers just Scorsese loves a picture about a man who just doesn't want to be ordinary we saw it with um Henry Hill and like again with Jordan Belfort he just ordinary is like a death sentence to him and we saw it you know in the end when he's doing sell me this pen and no one gets it but his buddy got it on the first go he got it immediately that we know just kills him and these are men who are so disgusting so flawed so terrible and yet the stakes of the screenplay are so good and so high that you're like I hope they get to Monaco I hope he gets away with it. I hope he does this. I hope. And then each time it was like so fun and surprising, especially the wire at the end. And then he, they find the freaking yellow paper. You're like, oh my God, I thought he got away with it. So all in all, I think what I'm describing is that I was definitely gripped. So yay, Marty. Let's go to budget. 100 mil. 100 mil. Yes. They did go to Italy. I always like the way Scorsese films are told in that voiceover this guy, this guy, we call him Rugrat. Zoom in. I loved the um, commercial aspect of this because Jordan Belfort's a salesman. He's always selling you some bullshit. So then the aspect ratio would pinch in and then we'd get a commercial. And then I loved when the FBI agents like infiltrated his infomercial at the end. So great. Let's go to the trivia. I gotta hear about this. McConaughey improvised the chest beating. Majority of the film's dialogue was improvised, as Martin Scorsese often encourages. It felt like a lot of the silly on drugs scenes especially were very improvised because it's like just act off off the wall. Jonah Hill took a pay cut to work with Martin Scorsese. He was paid the stag minimum, which was sixty thousand dollars. Wow. Why like did he need to take a pay cut? Probably not. It's a Scorsese film. I'm sure they could pay you. I guess they did want somebody cheap for that role. On a routine visit, Steven Spielberg spent a day on the set watching the shoot of the Steve Madden speech. I have to pause here and say this movie reminded me a lot of Catch Me If You Can, and that is Spielberg DiCaprio. Martin Scorsese claims that Spielberg essentially co-directed that scene, giving advice to actors and suggesting camera angles. Cool. Ah. I noticed this. Martin Scorsese has confirmed that some of the editing is odd on purpose, especially the scenes in which one or more characters are high. Every time Jordan is seen taking drugs, the scenes that follow have continuity issues and often flow oddly. A couple of times I felt like certain cuts were weird. 
Belfort coached Leonardo DiCaprio on his behavior, especially instructing him in the various ways he had reacted to the quaaludes he abused as well as his dope-induced confrontation with Danny Porish. Oh my gosh, this was Leonardo DiCaprio. Ever since he got hold of the book back in 2007, DiCaprio has been focused on turning the depraved tale of Jordan Belfort into a film. Okay, this actually helps me with comprehension. The real Jordan Belfort supported the film's depiction of excess. His one objection was the film's implication that Stratton Oakmont never did any serious work. Belfort argued that they couldn't have gotten away with their corrupt practices for so long unless they had been delivering on legitimate business most of the time. That's what I was thinking. They made it seem like the whole thing was illegitimate. DiCaprio was paid $25 million for his role. Quarter of the film's budget. There were real-life stockbrokers on set. Cool. Word f- is said 569 times. You know, I am so desensitized to the word f- I actually really like it. And I think it made these characters. And I, I didn't I didn't hear it 569 times. I'm sure I did, but I was not paying attention. For the deposition scenes, Martin Scorsese merely instructed the actors to avoid saying anything important or anything at all. They had the freedom to improvise. Editor Thelma Schoonmaker Schoonmaker said that these scenes, some of them 20 minutes long, were hysterical due to the things they improvised. Cast includes three prominent directors in acting roles. Rob Reiner, Spike Jones, and John Favreau. Oh no, I didn't call it Spike Jones. That's okay. Can't win them all. The goldfish scene was filmed with a real goldfish with animal handlers on set. He was allowed to keep it in his mouth for three seconds, but obviously not allowed to swallow it or eat it due to animal cruelty laws. It was a real goldfish. I don't like that. Ugh. Prior to The Irishman, this was the longest movie directed by Martin Scorsese. And now with Killers of the Flower Moon, I don't know. I don't know what's longer. I feel pretty good about that. So if you have more to say about The Wolf of Wall Street, I definitely want to hear from you. So you're going to have to sound off below. Where were you when you first caught The Wolf of Wall Street? Who were you with? What were you up to? Did you think it was as good as Scorsese's others? Where do you think it stacks up? I know that I have many, many, many more to see. So I can't really make a call. But in terms of those um, biopic types, they're not biopics. In, tr- in terms of those autobiographical criminal type movies, this is definitely one of the more fun ones. So I definitely had a good time with this. And it was a real epic. I've been sitting here for hours. If you want more from me, please Patreon information description box below. Other ways to support me down there. If you wouldn't mind, give this video a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already because it really supports me and the work I'm trying to do on the channel. You know the drill. I'm freaking starving. So I'm going to go eat. Sushi. <laughs>